Okay, so let me explain to you all the pictures that I posted um, earlier with the accident or incident that happened with my vehicle. Um, but back probably right before Christmas, my husband and I, we were riding down the road. Um, it was a country road. <laughs> and we were just riding. You know, he was driving and I was sitting on my cell phone and, and scrolling through my, my uh, messages. And all of a sudden, um, well, let me back up. So while we were riding down this country road, um, a vehicle passed us, a pickup truck. And so immediately we heard like glass being shattered. And right after we heard the shattered glass, um, all of a sudden we were in the air. Our car was up in the air and it came slamming back down. And when it came down, the hood flew up. Smoke was going all over the place. Um, yeah, all of this happened. And we was just in shock because we really did not know what happened. You know, we didn't know what we hit or who hit us. We really didn't know because we didn't see anything. We were just riding along and like I said, minding our own business. And all of a sudden we saw ourselves up in the air and the car just came slamming back down. And so um, once that happened, you know, we're looking at each other like, what, what happened? So we jumped out of the vehicle. We ran in the front. The front was like, oh God, yeah, total. And antifreeze was just flowing out of the engine. And so at that time, my husband was like, okay, let's get back in the car because we were on a we were on a um, country road, no street light. So he, it was like um, dust, um, dust dark. And so he wanted to get to a lighted area. And before, he said before the antifreeze came out of the car and we could not go anywhere. We didn't really have any cell phone service out where we were located. Um, and so we jumped back in the car and we were trying to make it to a at least a, a um a gas station and so we finally came upon this gas station we pulled over when we pulled over another vehicle another vehicle pulled beside us and um and they were like were y'all in that accident back there and we was like yeah and so we started explaining because we thought maybe something fell off the back of the pickup truck in our lane and we ran over it and they was like no no what happened was a deer um the the vehicle that passed us remember i told you the vehicle that passed us they hit a deer and the, the shattered glass that we heard was the deer actually going through the windshield of the other vehicle and so the impact was i guess it was just so intense until um when he hit the deer it shattered his windshield but it slain the deer in our lane and the deer actually uh, went up underneath our vehicle from the back and that's why we didn't see anything we didn't know what we hit we didn't know what happened and so she said the deer came and it not the deer in our lane and the deer like slid up underneath our vehicle and it was she said it was a big buck a buck and you guys know a buck a deer buck is really huge and so that's why when it went up underneath the car it was so big until it lifted the car up in the air. So it slung the car up in the air. And that's when we noticed ourselves in the air. Um, and it was for that reason. And so we, we were standing there like, really? So when we started really looking at the vehicle, looking at my vehicle, we noticed where the deer really did go up underneath the car because all in the... Um, 
the the wheel, the you know the area where the wheel is. It was just, y'all. Excuse me, but it was a lot of blood, a lot of guts, a lot of hair. It was it was awful. I mean, when I say awful, it was literally awful. And at that point, y'all, I wanted to just vomit all over the place after seeing all of that. I literally got sick. But that's what happened to my vehicle. And it actually totaled my car. So for the f past few months, um, I was blessed and also fortunate to have a son who had an extra vehicle and he allowed me to drive his car until I could find me another car. Now, I must say, you guys, <laughs> I got so comfortable with driving his car. He got a nice car. I mean, it's a Charger and he got it on the nice um the nice rims, you know, the, the big rims. But anyway, anyway, I got really comfortable with driving that car and comfortable with not paying a car payment each month. Y'all, I, I really um, got comfortable until my husband reminded me, okay, don't get too comfortable because we have to give this car back. <laughs> so I had to end up going car shopping. Yes, I had to end up going car shopping. Um, so, I went car shopping. And this is what I was blessed to get. So this is my new vehicle. Yes. So even though, even though, you know, it was a bad situation and it could have been worse, but we just thank God that we are alive. We walked away with no scratches, no bruises, no anything. It really, really could have been worse, you guys. Um, so the only thing that got battered or bruised in this whole incident was the car. And we could get another car. As you can see, I got another car. So the Lord blessed me to upgrade, which I was actually thinking about upgrading anyway. But I wanted to do it in my own terms, you know. But anyway, so that's what I was blessed with. And so I, I, um, I say all of that to say, even though... Sometimes things happen to us and it may seem like it's a bad situation. But to us it may be bad, but it could turn out to be a blessing. Because in this whole ordeal, I end up with a new car. <laughs> I end up with a new car. So I thank God for that. I thank God for allow me to have a new car. I thank God for allowing us to walk away from the accident with no bruises, no no bumps, no um no cuts, no nothing. You know, we walked away with our lives. And so that's enough right there to be thankful for. But I just wanted to share that with you all cuz I know a lot of you probably was wondering well, what happened to her car. That's what happened to my car. 
y'all, and my car was almost paid off, so I was really upset about that. But like I say, everything, you know, even though it looked bad to me, it was a bad situation, but it turned out for my good. And now I'm blessed with a new car. So I just want to share that with you all. Um, so y'all have a blessed and prosperous rest of the day.